Celebrities like Anne Hathaway, Rihanna and Azealia Banks have been spotted wearing the style, even on the red carpet. Top designer labels from Chanel to Gucci and Ferragamo, as well as the more accessible Zara and Topshop, all stock them on their shelves. We're talking about the vibrant jelly shoes that never seem to lose their shine. But how much are local fashionistas willing to pay for PVC footwear? How much did you pay for yours? Um, this pair is around $135. Do you think it's worth it? I think it's worth it because no blisters. How much did you pay for it? Uh, I think it's like $150. Yeah. Do you think it's worth the price? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Quite nice. Why? And then it's very comfortable. Hey, would you pay over $200? Or? Uh, yeah, maybe $200. $200. Yeah. Not more than $200. Yeah, not more. Depends on the brand as well. Okay, like which brands would you pick? Uh, yeah, maybe uh, Alexander McQueen or yeah, Chanel. Uh, your shoes? Ferragamo. Yeah. How much did you pay for them? Two hundred eighty. I think for this brand and the price is quite okay. Think that's expensive? You haven't seen Chanel's latest Camellia Jelly sandals, which cost four hundred and ninety dollars, or Melissa's even pricier Ultra Girl Plus J range, which costs up to six hundred dollars a pair. Luxury shoemaker Jimmy Choo has also jumped onto the jelly bandwagon, with his Maui collection priced at around two hundred and forty dollars. But would shoppers fork out the money merely for the brand name? Depends if it's comfortable, then maybe more. Like, would you pay like up to over a hundred dollars? Yeah, maybe about hundred if it's comfortable. Uh, if it's comfortable, I don't mind to pay such amount. But if it's not comfortable, I'm not afford to pay it. The quality of the uh, shoes and the brand. If let's say you find the brand is good, okay, you can pay uh, the more. Meanwhile, there are also cheap jellies that are all the rage in neighborhood retailers, with price tags going as low as a couple of dollars, and luckily so for jelly fans. Okay, like for me, like maybe the most I would just pay for is like about fifty dollars. So some people pay like over one hundred dollars, or some people pay two hundred over dollars. Would you pay for that? No, I don't think so. <laughs> because plastic is quite cheap, right? So maybe twenty dollar. How much did you pay for your shoes? Very cheap. Uh, it's about uh, fifteen. Hey, would you pay over a hundred dollars for it? Uh, no. no. Why not? Mm, because it's uh, I just walk. If I go to party or uh, other place, I will buy the expensive one. Okay, so this is just a normal everyday pair of shoes. So some girls like pay like hundred over dollars or two hundred over dollars. I don't think it's worth it. Huh? No, why not? Uh, way too expensive. Be it sixteen or six hundred dollars, one thing's for sure: this quirky footwear has an increasing fan base. In the next clip, we find out the reasons why jelly shoes are so appealing.